I will be demoing the advanced public sector budget analyzer tool. Uh, I will also be demoing the uh, revenue analyzer tool. And uh, lastly, uh, we will demo the purchase order payment status uh, analyst tool. So um, again, uh, I wanted to talk about um, uh, going back to the point um, that we took all your input from the user groups and working with you all to, to develop this uh, solution. Um, we based the design on the uh, personas, uh, typical personas in a city, uh, town hall type of personas that uh, we generally have uh, the citizens on top and either it can be a mayor uh, form of government or town manager type of government. And underneath that, um, you have all the directors managing their areas from various departments, from public safety to parks and recreation, uh, administration, uh, and so on. Uh, of course, the legislative body involved is uh, generally the city or town council. So the design of our uh, reports, again, uh, went back to the individual personas. So um, as you can see from, from our screen here, uh, at the highest level, we, we developed um, a persona for mayor, council, uh, budget type of uh, directors uh, who manage the budget at a very high level. And uh, looking at this screen, uh, you can see that you could get all that information uh, beautifully presented uh, all on one screen with grand totals on the bottom. Of course, you can drill down on each one of those and get all the transactions that make up that uh, entry. So uh, then if you go down a level, uh, you may have um, departments. Um, the mayor or the council uh, may, may want to see how the budget is distributed uh, towards the departments by fund. So here you could see uh, the operating fund and the respective departments uh, that have been allocated the budget. So we, we've gone into two levels uh, of dimensions here. And again, you, uh, when I do the actual demo, I'll be able to provide you with uh, much more detailed information. The uh, third persona that I'm uh, displaying here is uh, for a specific department director. Say you are a a director for uh, administrative services and you just are concerned with your budget and making sure that uh, you're managing it properly and here you could filter all that information and get all the information again on a very comprehensive form uh, displaying all the information that you need uh, by fund and department. So um, with that, um, I'd like to start the actual demo. And uh, we will start um, with the home page. Um, and I will help uh, navigate you down to our advanced public sector module. So uh, again, as I was mentioning, uh, we are at the home page. And uh, just below the procurement and sourcing, I have the advanced public sector module. So uh, as I was uh, demonstrating in my uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, one of the first things I wanted to show you is at a very high level uh, how easy it is to get all the information from our advanced public sector module. So uh, from this module, uh, I also want you to note uh, the common look and feel it has with the standard AX um, uh, application. So uh, I will go to the right hand side under the inquiries and select the uh, budget analysis tool. And all we have to do 
is select a persona, uh, which was for the mayor uh, and finance budget directors, and see all our funds. And just by hitting the calculate button, you'll be able to get all your fund information all on one screen. And again, uh, all the detail is uh, available to you uh, for the budget. If you click on the budget detail, you see you'll be able to see all the entries that make up that budget. Um, I will again go into more detail as I show you uh, further functionality. Uh, the next stage I wanted to go is if you would like to go to a lower detail, which might be the controller and budget managers. Uh, they they may also like to see the, the same information by um, departments. So how are the funds allocated to each one of the departments? And this will help them make decisions during the uh, budget cycle um, that goes on uh, for a few months in our in our public sector area. Um, if you go back to the persona selection by templates, uh, we can select uh, the legislative body and uh, taxpayers who might want to look at this information a little differently. And here, um, what happens in, typically in a government, we would like to see um, we would like to see the information by object. So how is how is the general fund allocated for different types of objects? How much are we spending on salaries? How much are we spending on operations and capital outlay and debt service? So all that information is given to the legislative body uh, or the taxpayers on how we're spending our money. So uh, as, as you can see, again, with uh, uh, basically a single click, you can uh, slice and dice this information very easily and uh, give the uh, budget uh, holders um, who are interested in specific uh, part of the budget information uh, quite easily. Um, the next persona, uh, as I had demonstrated, could be a, a department division uh, director. And basically, again, with a single click, uh, he gets the information by his department and all the uh, main accounts that are associated with his department. So um, he's allocated a salary account and uh, overtime account. And he can easily uh, manage his budget uh, looking at all this information. And uh, below, um, we also have a subscreen that uh, sort of gives him subtotals uh, by, by, the, um, by each one of the dimension sets. So here he has a grand total uh, by, uh, by fund, and each one of the funds is displayed here. And he can see that the general fund, he had a budget of 20 million, and then the other funds, uh, 500 thousands and so on. So he can now get all his information and uh, subtotals very easily. And moving down to this, uh, to this screen, uh, if he wants to go another level, he will see his uh, information. Again, it's uh, because we sorted on department, so he's, he's uh, getting it by department. So um, with that, um, I'd like to show you one more persona, which, which will display the functionality of grouping um, and filtering the information. This persona might be for uh, the town council or the budget directors might want to analyze uh, the data on a few administrative departments, uh, for example, uh, from 111 to 171 departments that are mainly dealing with administration. And uh, we will present that data uh, in, in a 
in a timely, a very quick manner by just hitting this key. And all this information again is available uh, and I just need to put the filter in for that. I apologize. And what I'm displaying is how how you easily it you can enter uh, the um, filters here. So basically, I want to select uh, departments 111 through 171, and I have the option of um, give selecting an advanced filter here that will give us the information just for those departments. Basically, you can see now that only those departments 111 through 171 are in this list. So uh, th this is some of the functionality we, we have developed. And uh, if you go to the out-of-the-box um, inquiries and reports, uh, it is very hard to navigate and uh, very hard to get to the information uh, as easily as we can in the uh, advanced public sector module. Uh, uh, some of the functionalities uh, that we have further enhanced is the uh, printing capability where you can get subtotals at uh, any level that you'd like. So with, let, me, let me select um, a dimension that has a lower level of detail, and um, then we I, I can demonstrate how the report subtotals at every level. So here we have um, a report by uh, specific uh, main accounts. So I'm just going to remove the the filters that might be here, and. Um, and run, run the entire report uh, as a complete report. And this is where um, we really see the, um, the exact um, information that public sector was craving for. Uh, here we select the uh, print button and what you will get is a report that's subtotaled by depart fund, department, division, and section. Now that that report is just exactly what we have seen in our experience with public sector and uh, from our user groups. Uh, this is exactly how they would like to see the information to make the, to control the budget uh, efficiently and manage their budget. And as you can see, uh, you have subtotals at all five levels. So that, that was the expenditure analyzer tool that we had developed. And uh, now I'd like to go to a similar report that we developed, and that is the uh, revenue side of the things. And it's very similar in functionality. And again, uh, we can select the dimension by personas, uh, the mayor uh, and the finance body would like to probably see the entire uh, revenue budget by fund and this is how easily you can you can gather the information by uh, by fund and again if you wanted to dig deeper how how the budget is represented uh, how each department is collecting the revenues uh, we can we can display it by fund and department and uh, last, we can have the um, persona for a person that 
wants to see it at the line level, uh, how we're collecting uh, the revenues at the line detail. And that is this one. And here's how we, uh, it will display the line level data. So property taxes, again, that's the main thing. Uh, uh, and then all the grants and uh, fees that, that are associated uh, uh, with collecting revenues for public sector. And again, uh, you have the realized uh, actual revenues collected. And uh, at the end of the column, you have how much percent has been realized so far. And if you go to the um, actual column, uh, and you could get all the details, each line item detail of how that revenue was uh, actual was made up. So these reports are easily tieable to to the transaction reports and and to the general ledger. So the control for these reports, um, what we have done is we've gone back and used the trial balance as our control. And that was the revenue report. Uh, the last report that we developed uh, that had um, that we saw opportunity in was uh, the encumbrance, also known as the purchase order status report, um, where the out of the box report that came out was uh, was good, but. Uh, uh, it didn't offer us any information about the cost center or the financial dimension where the purchase order or the purchase order line was charged to. So basically, uh, we were, um, with the purchase order, we were driving blind, sort of, uh, without knowing uh, where to uh, pay for that purchase order or where it was charged. So uh, we developed the, the purchase order payment status inquiry tool in the same uh, manner as we developed the expense and revenue analysis tools. So um, you'll be very pleased to see uh, how much better uh, this report is in, in terms of um, the information that all of you are looking for. Again, um, this report is um, by by fund division main and you have the option of selecting all of the dimension sets that you would you would need and um, and you just hit the calculate button and you get all the information that is related to this report again as you note that this report provides you where where the fund the the department that it's charged to and, and all the uh, relative information in terms of vendor and um, what the original amount is, how much was invoiced and adjusted, and what's, what's left in the balance. We also provide you if the purchase order was finalized and uh, if it was closed. So there's a checkbox for, for that information also. And with that, I also had wanted to show you that there is also the similar functionality where this report will subtotal uh, by department and all the financial dimensions, which you didn't have uh, in the out-of-the-box. None of the report had the capability of uh, giving you an output uh, by, by financial dimensions that you wanted. So here we have all the all the report in, in transaction form. And if I just go under grouping and if I wanted to just have it broken down by department and fund, this report will run and break by that. So it turned out to be a little bit of a tutorial on how easy it is to run these reports and, and get the information that you're looking for. But um, we're very pleased that we were able to develop and uh, enhance uh, the Dynamics AX uh, functionality uh, and gear it towards public sector. In, in the near future, uh, we're coming up uh, with more and more um, 
gaps slash opportunities that exist uh, in the public sector uh, out of the box module. And uh, if you could um, uh, look into our um, website for future future demonstrations, uh, that is uh, www.axmentor.com.